Good morning, welcome back to a new vlog. How are you doing? Excuse the unmade bed today, but I'm not sure that I have the mental capacity to be dealing with that right now because today I am finishing work early. I'm going to Fat Boy Slim on the beach and I need to get episode two of the podcast finished up before I go. So a little bit stressed, a little bit of a situation where all my mental capacity is probably going to go into that, but I've just woken up it's first thing in the morning and my brain isn't in that world yet like it takes a little while for me to get into my like creative mode normally happens at about two but i need to go out at like four or five and my mum is coming over to do the garden at about two so the odds are not in my favor today which it's really funny that i've made that reference because i had a real hunger games-esque dream last night <laughs> Maybe there's a bit of foreshadowing there. I don't know. Anyway, I need to get some makeup on my face. I thought, seeing as I was kind of half getting ready to go for my walk, I was like, do you know what? I think it's more time efficient if I just fully get ready now. Am I procrastinating? Maybe. But does it have some logic to it? Absolutely. I think Ryan is actually doing the same so that he can just go home and work until he needs to leave the house. So that is what we're both doing. So if there's a lot of background noise, it's because he's in the bathroom. Nala's also chowing down on her breakfast, which is never a quiet ordeal. I have been so tired lately, just so, so tired. Like I wake up and I'm tired, but I also hits like five in the evening and I'm like sleepy and ready to go to bed. Like could happily skip dinner and just go for the sleeps, which I obviously don't do because I have to stay up and watch Love Island, even though I absolutely hate it right now. I'm ready to stop watching, but I have committed far too much of my time to it, so I will absolutely not be doing that. It's a whole ordeal. It gets me every time. By the end, I don't care. I hate everyone. They all annoy me. I'm going to go on a walk, I have decided, because I feel like that will really help, like, wake my brain up. And it's just good for you, isn't it? That can never hurt, so I'm going to get ready, walk. Is it ridiculous getting ready and then going to walk? Will I sweat all my makeup off? Will my hair stay? We'll find out. Won't we? I'm gonna do that thing that I have seen about a million times on the internet where you do basically like everything and then blend it in all at once. I started doing that in Bordeaux just because I was with two girls that don't wear as much makeup as me so I was taking like double the time to get ready. Actually was really great. Very very time efficient. Will it look crazy and will this look like a ton of makeup? Absolutely. Do I mind? No, I always put too much on my nose now this is the problem at the moment. Do my little hourglass blush gone back to this at the moment and then i use powder over the top and i love it I'm looking slightly insane but it's all gonna work out i swear now you meant to start with the lightest color but have i done that no also i had a spot here and it went away and now i've got another spot in the exact same place what Hello. a scam good morning that was the glorious sound of nala scaring the shiz out of lauren first thing in the morning okay i'm gonna blend i'm gonna blend the concealer, I feel like not blending the concealer was a mistake. Side note, love this hourglass concealer. So good, like so creamy, but really flawless. Trying not to stab myself in the eye. You know what I should have put on today? I missed the trick. The Rare Beauty Primer. It literally makes my makeup look flawless, but it will stay all day. So, so good. Okay, so then we're going back to, I'm gonna do this bit here, which I know you meant to do the blush first, but I kind of like it when the blush has a little bit of bronze over the top, not the bronze has a little bit of blush over the top, like that. Pretty. So I am um, blended. The nose went well. Normally I have to go over it with this and blend it all in because I put too much on my nose, but actually we're fine today. We are fine. I'm very sad about this situation, guys. That is all I have left of my brow product. Just gonna keep it really simple. I use my Vizart. Vizart? Vizart? Bizarre palette. I love this. I love the eyeshadows. They're so good. And I use the lightest matte colour all over my eyelid. It's basically the same colour as my skin, which I love. I love how this has turned into like a full on everyday makeup tutorial. A little bit of the matte brown, the light brown in my outer corner and crease. And then take my tiny weeny little brush, pop that in the matte brown and then I just kind of stamp it along my lash line and then take it down to the outer corner bring it out mascara so I'm using the Glossier Lash Lick which is still one of my all-time favorite mascaras just gives really real like fluttery looking lashes and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Rare Beauty 
mascara just for some extra definition because this is quite a thick black mascara so it just kind of gives it that extra drama but without going too over the top because i literally just put a small amount on and then i just take one of my dry glossier ones and run that over the top just to take any excess off so that they stay looking really wispy and natural literally always just have a dry makeup brush at your disposal it's the, like the best makeup hack if you want like nice fluttery non-clumpy lashes a little bit of brat lip liner and then my current fave sephora lipstick and then i'm going to use my fave bare minerals foundation this is the bare pro 16 hour skin perfecting powder foundation in the shade light 27 neutral it's a pretty good match the other one was going a bit ashy on my skin because i have a lot of face fake tan on at the moment but yeah look at this like, oh so good so good man look at that it's just delish i love matte skin just where it should be matte just like center gives real like natural glam vibes and then i put a little bit under my contour line and i have a lot of scarring along my contour line as well so this just really helps to add a little bit of extra coverage on that area but also set so that my scarring doesn't really start poking through it's really good i think that is makeup done i feel like i've skipped a step but no i think that's it I don't want to alarm anybody but I think some weird like colour loving demon has possessed my body because I keep wearing colourful things and it's kind of freaking me out but I'm kind of enjoying it. Today's set looks weirdly yellow on camera but it's it's not. It's like a bright orange. It's from Adenola of course. I'm now on a ban. Fully on a ban but I couldn't resist this set. It's part of I think a new drop that they've just done and I love it I really love it I also really like this style of top I think this is the first of this style that I've had I really like it because the other ones sit here on my collarbone and it was slowly starting to like cause some issues but this one very nice sits at a really good point I think but yeah really happy with it I've got both in a size small really happy with the sizing as always so yeah that's what I wore on my little morning walk along with my Adenola socks and just my normal trainers which are just so old and grubby now but they're so comfortable. And then for earrings, I've been loving this little combo at the moment. I've got some, I think these are ASOS ear cuffs and then a couple of my usual earrings from Maria Tash and Wake and then some hoop earrings which I believe these ones may either be Monica Vinida or Astrid and Mew and these ones are definitely Astrid and Mew, they're like the cutest. They have these little stars on them. Love them. They're so cute. Now I need to get ready for Fatboy Slim. Actually, I might sit down with you first and like unbox some stuff and then I need to get ready for Fatboy Slim. I'm thinking midi skirt and a bucket hat. Vest top combo like El Clasico. It's my uniform of the summer and it makes getting ready so easy. If you really struggle to get dressed or just don't have the mental capacity for it at any point, I can't recommend enough just having like a solid uniform that you go back to. I've never really done it before but I'm really really enjoying it. Okay so I haven't sat down with you in a while and I had quite a few little things I picked up here and there so I thought I would just show you everything that I bought this month. I had a few days in bed because I was feeling a bit run down and many people have agreed that is the one time that my card should be taken away from me. However, I would argue, I know those numbers off by heart, so it would be of little use, quite frankly. But I started off by picking up some things from Look Fantastic that I needed because first off, I ran out of my Saint Tropez Luxe Tan Tonic Drops. There was a panic. I was literally watching it go down every day and I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, I can't get to a shop right now. I don't have time, what do I do? I went on to look fantastic, ordered myself a new bottle. They last a fair amount of time, so I'm not begrudging having to buy a new one. I use it literally every day. And I would say I really slept on this one. Like I liked it when it launched, but I still stay loyal to like my face mist. But actually, this is so much better. This is like elite tear face tan so i'm absolutely loving that at the moment obviously have used a full bottle i still use the face mist for kind of topping up my tan for chest 
hands, back, just like anything that I want to top up or any areas like my back that I can't reach. It's sad for that, but this for my face, Elite Tear. I use it on my neck as well and it actually, my neck never normally takes tan, but it actually takes it. I also, whilst I was doing an order, picked up the Kerastase Balm Shampoo, my all time favorite shampoo. So I had to pick up another one of those things as I was doing an order and I also picked up the conditioner that goes with it as well. Literally my holy grail shampoo and conditioner. I love so many from Kerastase, but these are the two that I like have to have in my shower at all times. I also picked up some bits from Codalix whilst I was in Bordeaux that it's obviously everywhere. I think they have like a spa there. I think it's what it is, but it's literally everywhere in every single shop that you go into. I picked up the Vino Pure Anti-Imperfection Blemish Control Salicylic Serum because I thought that looked really good. I wasn't sure whether to buy it whilst I was in France. I wasn't sure if it worked out financially better for me, but I didn't want to have to carry it home. So I just ordered these bits that I'd seen when I got home. And I also picked up the, I think this is new. This is the Vino Perfect Radiance Serum Complexion Correcting Serum. I'm excited to try these two. I feel like these will be really good for my skin because obviously I, I'm quite breakout prone and then I really would like something to kind of help give my skin a bit of a glow. So I'm excited to try those two. So that was my little beauty order that I did. I also picked up some bits from net porte There's one item in particular, I have worn this, so excuse it if it's fluffy, but you might have seen this either on TikTok or in my last video, if you haven't watched my last video. The big life update, so you should definitely go and give it a watch. I have some news, but yeah, I wore this in the last video and I've obviously done a TikTok review of it. So I bought that and I also picked up this in the sale this is a little jacquemus cardigan it's so cute <laughs> and i know maybe slightly unseasonal right now but the temperature over the next month is obviously going to drop and i thought this would be a really lovely like summer to autumn hybrid kind of item i think it would look really cute in the winter as well with like a pair of jeans autumn with a pair of jeans but winter with a coat over the top but i thought with like a cute midi skirt because this is so cropped it could look really cute and it will allow me to get a little bit of extra wear out of my midi skirts which i'm currently wearing with vest tops i will get to that in a second because we need to talk about these vest tops because they are like god tier vest tops but yeah at the moment i'm wearing a very summery combo and that cardigan kind of vibe will allow me just to eke it out into autumn which would be great i also obviously got a new adenola set and i picked up another set of cycle shorts this is actually something that i did not have i picked up the black cycle shorts because i don't have a pair of black like workout cycle shorts and i love theirs so much that i thought these were a very good purchase like that was one thing that i keep coming back to being like, I don't have a pair of black cycle shorts that I can like work out in. Then I did a little far fetch order and I picked up some new trainers. I actually copied Brian on these. We have this kind of situation going on and we have had for the past three years where we basically copy each other's trainers. He got a pair of Air Force Ones in white. So I decided that I needed to get a pair of Air Force Ones in white. So I picked these up off of Farfetch because I basically couldn't find them in stock anywhere. So they have a good stock if you guys want to go and check them out. I might wear these this evening, maybe, depending on what outfit I go for. But yeah, they look really cute with the jeans that I've been wearing a lot at the moment. So like straight leg jeans, but they also look really, really cute with a midi skirt. So those are my two kind of go-to outfit combos. It works really well. I have them in pink but obviously it wasn't super versatile. So yeah, I picked them up in white as well. No regrets, because I've actually been thinking about getting a pair for so long now. Next up, the other part of my Farfetch order. This is not in collaboration with Farfetch, by the way. As you guys know, I'm just obsessed. I picked up a midi skirt, because I thought this one was so cute. It's like this golden yellow color with orange and blue flowers and like these little cream flowers really really cute i'm hoping it looks good on me i think the fit's gonna be good which i like feeling positive about this just hoping the length is good too this could be a contender for this afternoon's outfit maybe and then i also picked up you will have seen these in the last vlog i'm not gonna even pretend to do an unboxing for these because i wear them all the time they're so fingerprinty right now these are little gucci glasses they're kind of like a hybrid between like a reading glass and a sunglass glass they actually don't come up under sunglasses so yeah make of that what you will yeah i really like them they're very kind of like 70s vibes i think they're really cute and then i also made a separate reformation order because these weren't available in 
petite on Farfetch. Like basically Reformation stock petite sizes, but Farfetch don't stock their petite sizes, they just stock regular. But I've seen these trousers. I actually saw them originally on Sophie Milner and I thought they were really cute. I don't know if they look as cute on me, if I'm honest, but I thought I'd pick them up. I really like them, they're so cool. They're like a tie up, but the waist, it like dips in the middle. So it doesn't, this is the back going straight across, but these actually like curve down, but they're really, really high waisted. And I really like that kind of silhouette. I think it will be quite flattering. And then they're like a bit of a boot cut flare style. I don't know. These could be terrible, but I kind of low key love them. They really remind me of my school trousers. I, yeah, I used to wear trousers like this at school. Our school let you get away with murder, basically. I used to wear like trousers like this, two belts when it got to that studded belt phase. But yeah, I'm excited to try these on. I think they'll be such a great autumn item to have in my wardrobe. Already starting to think about autumn, I know. Is that really bad? Because it's July. Yeah, it had to happen. On a sick day, mine in bed. It was always gonna happen. No, I actually just picked up some real basic items mostly because I love, I've worn this one, so don't judge me for the fluff. It didn't come like this. I love these tops from Zara. This is one of my black ones. I have them in black and white, I believe. And more recently, like I hadn't worn them in quite a while since I bought them. And more recently just started throwing them on with everything. And I was like, these tops are so flattering, so nice, so good in the summer. So I decided to buy a couple more pairs because they're just constantly in the wash and I'm constantly going to wear them, but they're in the wash, you know. You know the vibe. So I picked them up in quite a few colours as well because I don't know what has happened to me, but I have been enjoying wearing the colours. I love this pink one. Oh my God, it's so cute. Can't wait to wear it. I'm actually really sad because I just went to dig out my cream skirt, which is the skirt, the midi skirt I've been wearing lots of like colored tops with. So you will have seen in the last vlog, I wore the green one with the cream skirt. And it's got a paw print on the back. What? the hell so either my dog or someone else's dog has like trodden on me whilst i've been wearing this skirt and i obviously haven't realized that they've got like a mucky paw so it has a paw print on it which is not ideal so it's in the wash but now means i have kind of like taken one of my key outfits outfits <laughs> what is wrong with me today it means one of my key outfits my core outfits is out of the running for this afternoon so i may have a wardrobe meltdown who knows we'll see i also picked up a blue one because I think the blue is really cute and I have a blue bucket hat that would go really well with. Got another white one because white is just such a, you know, it's one of those colours where you're like, that could get ruined really quickly. So it's always good to have two. Got a neutral one. It seems really excessive, but I literally, it's like with the Zara bodies, which I still have and love, but I will wear things over and over and over and over again. So get ready to see a lot of these vest tops because they were very affordable as well, so why not? And then I also picked up this which I thought would, again, be really cute with like a midi skirt. It's quite a sheer cardigan. I thought with like just a cute little, either like bralette type top or something like that underneath. And then this, like it's like a tie. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you. This is gonna look horrendous, but you put it on and then you've got these little tie bits and you like tie up like that. And then it kind of drapes open. And I thought that would be really cute actually with a midi skirt if you wear it kind of like a slightly, to get through this sit down bit five times and the door keeps going so yeah i thought it might be cute with midi skirts especially if you wear them like slightly lower than high-waisted not fully like low no don't need that and then you will have seen this other item that i purchased because it was in my last vlog lots of you really like this as well and i was very unsure like i bought it because i was like i know i like this but is this like really out there or is this cute i don't even know but yeah i wore it with my cream midi skirt and lots of you loved it so thanks for the love because it kind of like validated my feelings on the top and i appreciate that and then finally i have this little cardigan from zara which does not look like how it looked on the website and now i'm kind of judging myself this again was with the idea of wearing it with a midi skirt but actually i'm thinking it just looks kind of long and it looks like the kind of stuff my nan would have knitted for me when i was a baby because she was cool. She's one of those nans that knitted everything. But yeah, not sure. Hmm. Yeah, no judging myself for that. I'm not sure. That is everything I bought this month. I will do my best to cut away to as many items as I can. Maybe not that last cardigan because I'm, I'm not sure on that. But everything else I will try and do a little try on clip of now. Ooh, you guys, these trousers. 
they are so flattering so flattering like i feel like i should have put these on yesterday when i was having my i feel really bloaty wardrobe meltdown do they give me slight ptsd from school yes a tiny bit but they're so flattering i i love the length is like spot on as well if you are like a similar height to me i would highly recommend checking out the petite section on reformation it's obviously a little bit more pricey but i love the quality of their clothes they always feel so lovely to wear and yeah they are a higher price point but i just think they're like that sweet spot the fit is always lovely the quality is good i don't really mind because their clothes make me feel really nice only thing about these trousers is they don't have a zip or anything to get into and they do feel quite tight so getting my butt into these was an experience because my hips are quite wide so i was like are they going on but they did yeah they feel so comfortable i think these are going to be a really nice staple in my wardrobe and they're a little bit more of a like statement because of the little tie stitch but yeah i really really like them okay so this is the white zara top these are a little bit see-through just the white one so i always wear like a little sticker over here you might be able to just vaguely see the outline you have to go kind of close to your skin tone with this top i find if you go one that is too light you kind of have that effect that they have with the mean girls top or actually too light or too dark you have that kind of mean girls where they cut the hole in the top vibe so you do have to with this one go quite close to your skin tone i will link the stickers that i use they're nothing special i just bought them on a whim and they weren't right for the top that i bought them for but they've been incredible under these tops so i will link them and my top tip is to apply them lying down because then you just don't get any like weird rippling but yeah so loving these tops they are just so good with everything including a midi skirt this is the ref midi skirt and i just love it i'm really glad my love of midi skirts has come back because I had a few like just really key basic ones in my wardrobe that I just really wasn't using and I was getting really sad thinking am I gonna have to give these away when it's my next clear out but my love of them has come back and I'm really happy about that. I actually love wearing this kind of combo and then a little belly chain around my waist I think it's really cute and a really nice way to bring the belly chains back off of like vacation because that's what I kind of originally bought them for and I'm glad that I'm still getting wear out of them even whilst I'm home. And then we also have the Nike. What are these called? Oh my god, it's left my brain. Air Force Ones? Are they Air Force Ones? Yeah, Air Force Ones. I'm really glad that I picked these up because I have been wearing my Vasia trainers with an outfit like this, which is fine if it's like my white top, black skirt combo. But there were a few outfits where I wanted to wear more colour and the big kind of like black logoing on my Vaja trainers just wasn't really right. So these are a little bit more chunky than my Vaja trainers and it is a little bit more of a statement. However, I'm just very happy to have like an all white trainer and these are gonna be really good for me, I think throughout autumn, winter as well. Actually just all year round, spring, summer, I think these are just a great staple to have in my wardrobe. So very happy with those. The fit is really good as well. I got a size five, a US, I believe 7.5 and I'm very happy with them very very happy these look really nice with jeans as well so i'll get a lot of wear out of them with my straight leg jeans too i don't know if i'm crazy but i think the blue also looks kind of nice with this too yeah this is what the blue top looks like it's coming off way more corn flower blue on camera it's more like a sky blue in real life but yeah i think this one's really sweet it will look perfect with my more like champagne-y cream tone midi skirt sadly in the wash but yeah i think it also kind of works with the blue in this maybe i've lost it maybe i've finally <laughs> fully lost the plot so this is the little crop crochet tee from zara i much prefer this with a midi skirt but my cream one as you know in the wash so i've just thrown it on with some jeans you know not my fave but we move this one does require some kind of sticker or bra situation underneath i opt for sticker just because i hate wearing bras i hate them they're so uncomfortable i am at the point in life where i'm like if i don't have to wear them and i'm blessed to not have to wear them i am done wearing them quite frankly anyway that rant aside this is the top i like it it's very sweet don't really have much to say other than that because i think it's sold out but i hope they bring it back and i hope they bring back the matching skirt as well because i would have loved 
that combo okay i know it's unseasonal but what do we think basically i managed to get this for an absolute steal it's basically the price of like some of the more high-end high street cardigans so i couldn't resist would i wear this with jeans yes but would i prefer to wear it with my midi skirt absolutely but yeah i think it's very very sweet i don't normally love a cutout stitch in the middle but it actually sits like so central and it's not too wide so you don't get that like under boob kind of look and i really that's what i really like about this cardigan i think it's really sweet i also love the way it is cut on the shoulders like it sits quite wide the more i look at it the more i like it and i think it was a very very good sale find i thought i would just very quickly share what the remaining zara tops look like on i'm sure you're probably sick to death of them already but i'm just gonna do a little snappy try on because sometimes i think it's useful to see what the colors look like on so this is the pink this is the green which makes little miss bucket hat over here very very happy this is the beige which actually now i've got it on it looks a lot more cool toned than it originally does when it's just like not on and i'm not sure if i actually like that so let me know do you think i should keep it or return it and then we have the grey kind of tone gray greeny kind of color this is actually the color this is the exact color that i want in my bedroom i need to like take this <laughs> to get it like color matched it's not giving it's not doing anything for me so may send this one back as well let me know your thoughts and just as a size reference i wear a small in all of these and they fit just like very tight and snug and this is the zara cardigan i love this i love it i really like this look i've just popped a little really plain bandeau top underneath it's got like these tiny tiny little spaghetti straps so really really discreet underneath the cardigan sits obviously like a kind of sheer material i really like this look i love it with the midi skirt which is exactly how i envisioned wearing it i really like that as well with this kind of midi skirt this one's from zara they don't make these at the moment which is really annoying because they're actually like a perfect wardrobe staple i'm obsessed they just have these elasticated waists on this one i don't think my champagne one has this but this is a fully like just elasticated sitch and i love that because you can basically wear it however you like so you can wear it high-waisted or you can wear it like as more of a low-waisted kind of vibe if you want to follow that trend but yeah the cardigan works really nicely as both but yeah i really like this look i think it's really cute what do you guys think i feel like this might be a bit of a love it or hate it look but i think it's really cute it's a really nice one to transition me from summer into autumn yes love these I'm so happy with these. They're actually a little bit longer than my orange Adenola cycle shorts, which I really like. I think when you're wearing like a big oversized sweatshirt or t-shirt, it's nice that you can just see the shorts like popping out underneath. And do you know what? I actually think, I know I bought these because I was like, I want black cycle shorts to work out in, but these are just so nice. I think they're so comfy that i could happily wear them for working out but also for lounging as well so these are one of those ones that could take me from like brunch to the gym for example and yeah they're very flattering i really like them and then we have the skims dress which i know some of you will have seen already if you watched the last vlog i just absolutely love this i went for a medium in this so it's not doing as much like snatching i don't know if you if i've already said this it's not doing as much snatching but gives me a little bit more room on the leg to take steps because i have watched some tiktok reviews gotta love a tiktok review and lots of people had said that they basically really struggled to walk in this and you know what it's it's a lot like there isn't a slit in this anywhere so i can't imagine what the small would have been like you basically can't walk in it so yeah love this dress i think it's great it's just very basic but it's really really flattering oh one more thing that i picked up got some other sunglasses some proper sunglasses from Celine I'm just I'm really obsessed with these at the moment I took these to Bordeaux with me I think they're really fun they're really cute I've wanted these for ages I tried them on in Selfridges about three months ago I wasn't wearing the right outfit I was wearing like a wintry outfit it was a cold day I think I was wearing like a suit or something and I was like I don't think I think I look mad in these but with a summery outfit these bangs. Oh yeah, and finally, the final thing that I picked up this month was a new phone case. I got this off Amazon. I love the colour and I also got one of these stupid things for it as well. This is from Etsy. I'll link everything in the info box. But yeah, I just love this little colour combination.
Good evening, everybody. Wow, <clears throat> what was that? As you can probably tell, I am not a fat boy slim. No. My brain had a bit of a meltdown. Literally, I had one shoe on, one shoe off, and I was just like, I can't do this today. I am feeling so overwhelmed. It's been such a i need to let the dog out sorry yeah it's been really busy recently and i kind of haven't really had a chance to stop and catch my breath properly and i knew that i was going to be able to this weekend so it's kind of just like you know chugging along waiting for the weekend and i think my brain just kind of had a moment where it was like can't come a day too soon if anything we need to be like doing nothing right now so yeah i had a bit of a meltdown and do you know what? I think it was for the best because there was actually a major issue, a major issue, not a major issue, a major issue with tonight's video. I basically got stuck uploading and yeah, if I hadn't been here, I don't know what would happen. So it kind of worked out for the best, I guess, but now it's just like another day where the video is going up really late, even though I still started uploading it. 3 p.m. But anyway, I am making some dinner, just like good old rice and veggies very healthy that's what it's all about at the moment and i'm going to like chill on the sofa and just binge watch some handmaid's tale and just take it easy because i can feel like my whole like mind body spirit is like struggling today which is annoying i'm gonna try not to beat myself up about it too much because i have anxiety and sometimes it gets me but the majority of the time i function pretty well with it so i can't complain anyway I'm gonna make some dinner and i will see you guys in the morning Good morning everybody. I have to tell you about what just happened to me <laughs> because I need to tell someone. So I ran out of cereal, going to the shop, literally across the road, across the road to get my shredded wheat. It's been dry all morning, completely dry, absolutely fine. Not a single bit of rain in sight. And yes, it was forecast to rain, but I don't want to hear it. I get into the shop and it is fine it is dry honestly absolutely fine not even a sign of rain the second i get into the shop it's like someone turned the shower on and i waited i waited i waited i think i was there for about 15 minutes like it was, no stop in a minute it's just a fluke shower and it just kept getting worse and worse and it's like crashing like the rain is just like bouncing back off of the floor so i'm like I'm actually gonna have to go home at some point. They're basically gonna have to employ me if I'm here any longer because I was talking to customers and you know, like helping out with things and like boxes and delivery. So I asked for two carrier bags, one for my head, one for my handbag. And I walked out of there <laughs> with a carrier bag on my head, which is why my hair is dry. And the rest of me <laughs> is completely soaked. I literally got in the house and I was dripping like I had just come out of the shower hence the towel but yeah so now now I look like this it's not an effect on my top so that's how my morning's going literally everyone in the shop was just laughing at me because I was just standing there like I'm gonna have to run in a second and I don't I don't want to do this hello and welcome back to episode two <laughs> That's my impression of you. So this is where I record my podcast. This is Ryan's studio. This is the microphone. So um, yeah, we're gonna crack on with this. Episode two, not your baby. Spoiler, because that's not coming out for a little while. But hello everybody, welcome back to Confessions of Thirty Sink Drama Queen, your weekly dose of WTFs and dramatic tales from your host, Susie Bernardi. Do we hate that as an intro? I think I hate that as an intro. I'm gonna try a new one every week. So who knows? If you listen to a favourite one as we go along, please, please DM me and let me know. Absolute least favourite part of this is the intro. Best part though, having a microphone. <laughs> I love having a microphone. <laughs> Shh. 
Chef Ryan is chefing tonight. You've actually uh, volunteered yourself for tomorrow as well. You've got your weekend cut out for you. Yeah. I'm excited. It's going to be a good weekend. What have you got here? Well, it's kind of a made up of stuff that we just had in each of our fridges. Oh, yeah. Artichokes, <laughs> tomato, pasta, and garlic mushrooms. Oh, garlic mushrooms. Yes. I have just been on cheese grating duty. And that is about as far as my left. cooking... Yeah, no, there's not a lot of cheese left, no. That's about as far as my cooking responsibilities go. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. And I'll see you guys again on Monday. Or tomorrow. I don't know, but my battery's flashing. So this is it for me today. Love you, bye. Whoosh. That's cold. Wow. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day. No even short day it is. Oh, no, wait, it's Wednesday. Got the builder coming today. That's how I remember what day it is now. Today, I have zero motivation to do anything. So I thought I would start by just rollering my face and seeing if I muster up the will. I think I'm gonna go for a walk, get outside, see if the motivation appears. But if nothing else, this feels very nice, if not very, very cold. Bought this off Amazon. I really feel like this is, this is helping. This is really getting rid of the face puff, which I'm very grateful for. Been very puffy lately. They say your gut knows what's up, you know, that motivational quote, but I don't think my gut knows what's up at the moment. <laughs> my body is, she is sad. This stays cold for ages, by the way. I'm actually so impressed. Magically, the face roller did give me some motivation. I ended up filming some TikToks. So, good start to the day. I'm just using my Saint Tropez Lux Tan Tonic Drops. Literally, my holy grail right now. I'm very much needed because I exfoliated my face a lot earlier this week. So, the face is not matching the board. Very much needed. Gonna try and leave this just on my skin for as long as possible. Summer Fridays eye cream for the under eye bags. Dark circles, please go away. Honestly, it's the nicest feeling eye cream. Oh. Good morning, Trim. How are you today? You haven't had a vlog appearance in a while. What have you been up to? Mm, so sweet. You're so sweet. High five. Oh. oh, look at your little face. See, she only high fives because she thinks she gets a tummy rub after. You're too cute. Too cute. So, in keeping with everything I bought this month, we had a delivery. I thought I would show it to you because I was actually very excited about this and I really hope that it actually looks good on. But I basically found a dupe for a pair of jeans that cost £900 and I love luxury shopping, but it was just a little bit too bar for me and i've never ordered from this brand before but we are just gonna see how it goes Ooh. so remember when i said i was just gonna like unapologetically live my best bougie life when i turned 30 i didn't actually mean like this like sparkly jeans but i just am obsessed I'm not obsessed with that though i don't like that but they actually feel nice like nice jeans ignore the fact that i have just literally left stuff everywhere and also ignore the fact that i'm wearing socks with my jeans honestly wearing socks just socks is one of my biggest like icks i'm giving myself the ick i really like i think they're called area the brand i love their jeans they do like these sparkly jeans and i'm just obsessed with them these are cute they also do ones that have like a cut out here which i kind of want but i'm like mm, i don't know but hang on i think we need to take a moment for the butt on these these are so good at the waist, like dream fit at the waist. And then I love this. This is like my dream jean fit. I'm gonna style these up because I just feel like I am not bringing the vibes right now. This is not selling, however, just look at the jeans without looking at me because I feel like it's better. <laughs> obsessed i'm keeping these i'm obsessed with them i would put them on and show them to you with my like air force ones on because i feel like they would look really good with it i have already lost them and when i say lost them 
not really lost them but i think they're somewhere at ryan's and i have been there twice and actually haven't seen them anywhere so i feel like when he was cleaning at the weekend he's put them somewhere <laughs> But I'm gonna need them back because I'm obsessed with them and I don't know how to put outfits together already without them Oh my god, also I wore this outfit at the weekend and I got so many compliments on it I'm, I'm here for the blue and the yellow. It was very cute. Okay, here we have the jeans with shoes on I have put sunglasses on to give the illusion that this is more of a done outfit and Yeah, I love them. I think they fit perfectly. I'm so happy. It's actually so rare that I get a pair of jeans that fit perfect These are also a petite size 8. They come in tall regular and petite i believe so yeah really happy with that if you're new here i'm five foot two literally perfect perfect length perfect fit around the waist this is like the shiny unicorn of jean purchasing and i got it right the first time so i am literally amazed slash over the moon Guess who ran out of bread and now has the world's most pathetic breakfast? I'll give you a hint. It's me. A new book has just arrived, which I ordered from Amazon. If you've read The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell, you're gonna be really excited because this is like a, I believe a sequel to it. I honestly couldn't believe it when I saw it. I actually pre-ordered it. I was that excited. I think it was at the end of one of my last books I was reading. I read like the first page and then I stopped reading because I was so excited and I didn't want to actually spoil the first bit for myself. Also, does anyone do it where you read the next book, like the first chapter kind of thing from an author at the end of another book and then when that book eventually comes out, you've forgotten that you've already read it but your brain is like, you're reading the back and you're like, I've already read this. I do it so many times where I'll read their little like snippet of their next book at the end of the book that I'm currently reading. And then six months later or a year when it comes out, I'm like, I've read this one before. And then I don't read it because I get confused as to whether I've already read it. So I actually had to stop reading like the snippet that was at the end of, what was the last book I was reading? Like the girls or there was another one from her. I can't remember what it was called. I'll link both of the, the books that I've read from her recently. But yeah, does anyone else make that mistake? Because I have made that mistake so many times. But anyway, so excited to read this. I loved The Family Upstairs, so yeah, you can imagine. It's so rare that authors do like sequels to books now as well. Like, just so excited. Ryan is giving Nala a haul of what he got from Pets at Home for her. <laughs> Get some fruit in your diet, won't we? Okay, I'm about to head out on a walk wearing my Adenola cycle shorts, an Ian Bing hoodie, YSL sunglasses, Nike trainers, and I'm gonna leave this vlog here because I need to spend the afternoon working on podcast episode. What episode are we on now? So three. I believe it's gonna be like a little QA kind of episode, which is a new format. I'm terrified and excited all at the same time. What is that word? Tech excited. We'll run with that. I'm tech excited. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. Me and Shrimpy wish you a very happy afternoon and evening. I love you all lots and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Oh, also podcast launches Monday. Podcast launches Monday. Be there. 7 a.m. Monday, 7 a.m. GMT. Are we GMT or GMT plus one? I don't know. I don't really understand it. UK time. UK time, 7 a.m. Well, I will be asleep actually, so I will not be there, but you guys can be there whenever you wake up, whenever. I don't care. Just listen to it. I love you. I love you so much. Bye.